He's saying that his, where he hit his head, it's hurting on the side. And then, hi guys. Um, welcome back to the vlog. I am back to vlogging. Um, a lot's been going on already in the new year, so it, vlogs have been kind of behind, but I, it's good to have taken a little break. Um, I'm headed on post right now. It's drill weekend. Um, we had like a promotion ceremony this morning and a change of command. We got a new first sergeant. So we had that ceremony at a different, um, a different company. Um, I guess because where we usually have it on post that they closed down the like gymnasium there. So that's why they had it somewhere else. But we're on lunch right now. And um, I'm gonna probably go to Panda Express. The way the sun is shining, it's like darkening the, um, it's darkening the, uh, what do you call it? I don't know, clearly I've been out of the game for too long. <laughs> the exposure is kind of weird, but anyway. So, headed on post. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall while I'm driving. Hopefully. Continue on 7th Avenue for three quarters oh. of a mile. Okay, girl, I'm just don't know my business. I hope this gate is open. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. So. Man, I forgot I had this gift card. So yeah, I'll probably go to Hand Express. I don't know how much is left on this gift card. Because I've been getting Starbucks with it for a while. So. There's no person up here, so I can just scan it because it's kind of awkward having a camera right here <laughs> and I will turn the camera a little because we're not supposed to film oh there is a person okay let me take this down enough Starbucks for the month um, I'm gonna go to Panda Express and I'll probably just get lunch enough for lunch and dinner so. oh they closed they closed the oh drill on half a tank of gas and I did not feel like stopping which is always my downfall um, so I didn't have time to stop on my way of course because <laughs> formation was at 07 they changed it and so I'm like okay well I have to get gas on the way back I literally had like 20 miles left and the van is just not like my car my uh, SUV that I'm used to like my Nissan like the mileage is different um, which I just realized it's now saying 155 and it was saying 142. You cannot trust how many miles it says you have le left until you need to, you know. I'm just not feeling the sun right now. It's not cute. I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, so short, long story short, almost ran out of gas, literally got to the pump at six miles to spare. And I will never be doing that again, ever. Was it 162? I don't remember. Anyway, so y'all know the drill. During drill, um, follow me around. My phone. Ugh. It is so weird seeing AIT soldiers as a NCO. Um. Sorry. I've got to find a good spot for this. I'm still trying to navigate. You know what I think it is? I think it's the lighting in this van that I'm not used to. It's very different. Because even up here, yeah, it's the van. It's the shape of the van. Oh my God, I cannot. Okay, I have to figure out this. Anyway, it is so weird as an NCO seeing in like AIT soldiers. I used to be that person. 
it's just crazy how far I've come over the years. Anyway, and also seeing drill sergeants. I don't know why it scares me to see a drill sergeant. Flashback. Stand up! Tell me right now! What is your freaking problem? Why can you not watch that girl? Get people! Get down! Get down! Get up! You better get down! You better get down! You get down! Get up! Why are you talking about me? Put your foot in the water! Come on! Come on! End of flashback. Like, I'm not scared per se, but it's very like, oh fuck, it's a drill sergeant. Then I realize we have the same rank. Obviously, most are like E6s, but well, anyway, it's like, we're the same rank. We're the same rank. Anyways, all right, let me go before I get stuck behind some of these soldiers. Scarf that down. I have a little bit of leftover. But it's time to head back to work. Yay! I was doing weapons cleaning and weapons functions check. When they pull that stuff out of the bag, you know there's nothing to do for the day. So, I don't know about you. Seven years in the army. I think we all know how to do that stuff, you know? It's pretty much second nature at some point. I don't know, like have a class on insurance, like how to get insurance or how to, how retirement works, um, how to access your iPerms or <clears throat> how you need to go to Deers, like call Deers, like stuff that's useful and helpful to help a soldier. Classes like that on days like this would be awesome, um, but the army don't give a about us so functions checks it is and weapons cleaning it is on weapons we already cleaned so just, if you're gonna join the army oh okay <laughs> getting a little close there buddy uh, if you want to join the army it's definitely beneficial um, but you're gonna have to do your own research unless you have leadership that cares about you um, but unfortunately I have to I have to learn I've had to learn by myself so I'm limited but I will find out for you okay. it has been such a long day just doing a bunch of nothing pretty much I mean we had tasks to do but it was like busy work stuff just unnecessary things but I finally checked up to my hotel we had like an issue with the hotel finally got in there got in here um, so, about to go take a shower. This is the first thing I want to do is take a freaking shower and lay down and watch videos. <sighs> Y'all, I am in desperate need of a pedicure. It's not even funny. <laughs> Y'all know the accent I had when I was in Mexico. I have not gotten it fixed since. And it's gotten worse. <laughs> I've been neglecting my feet. I need a toenail clips, everything, the whole nine yards. Me and Kenny need to go and get our feet done ASAP. But we officially have a new first sergeant. Um, and he's really, he's pretty cool. He's one of the most laid back so far. They always act laid back at first. But, um, what is this? He's pretty um, chill. It's trash. And then, um, I don't know, I just lost train of thought. But, yeah, they always act really chill at first and then they end up being a lot different. Not in a bad way, but just not as chill as I thought. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna go take a shower, unwind for the day, eat my wings that I got from Papa John's. I need to heat these up. And I'm gonna go to bed and I will probably see you guys in the morning because I don't think I'm gonna vlog anymore for the night. Nothing really going on interesting anyway, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.
good morning everybody um it is sunday um i had to cut drill short because kenny bear is not feeling good he's at drill i'm actually waiting for him to come out right now and we're going back to the er um so he's saying that his where he hit his head it's hurting on the side and then um his eye is blurry so that really concerned me and I'm like, well, I'm gonna see if I can get out of, if I can get out of work and come over there to uh, take you. Um, so yeah, that's the update. I um, I was at a drill for like a, three hours or so, and he called, or he was saying, I was like, eh, I think you should go to the hospital. But he was like, I'm gonna need somebody to take me home. I'm sure. I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. So, um, that's what I'm doing. It is so hot now. Now it's hot as heck. It was freezing cold this morning and yesterday. And now it wants to be hot. I just don't understand you, Georgia. I really don't. Crank the AC up. I just can't get right. I really can't. The A the air just cannot get right. It doesn't it doesn't know what season it wants to be half the time. Actually the majority of the time. How are you feeling? Yeah, still got a headache. Eyes still blurry? Eyes still hurt. Eyes still blurry. Is it just one eye that's blurry? Just one eye. My left eye. Mm. And my back still hurting. What about your shoulder? And my shoulder. But it's better, right? Yeah, it's still better. It's hell of a lot better. It's still hurt. Oh. Oh. Let's go get checked out to see what's going on. Because she really didn't ask you, like, any concussion questions last time? I noticed. Either my head is big or it's too small. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're back from the ER. As expected, they didn't really do anything but switch his meds. They really didn't check him for much for a concussion. I, I told them, I'm like, his blur. I'm kind of concerned about the blurry vision. They referred us to a doctor. But, I mean, they could have at least, like, tested for a concussion. Like, I know they did the CAT scans and stuff, but I'm pretty sure, I'm not a doctor, but, like, you don't necessarily have to have a brain bleed to have a concussion, right? So, or even whiplash. Like, they could have assessed something, like, say, what could the blurry vision be or, like, what's going on? They literally didn't say anything. Like, they just said, well, we can change your meds. And I'm like, what do you think it is? Like, dumb. So. All right. So, I guess we'll just have to assess. I don't think he has a concussion. I think it's probably whiplash. Um, and I just have to kind of watch him for the next few days. Um, and hopefully in a few days he'll be healed and feeling better. But at least his shoulder is getting better, he did say. Um, and... Like, he can still go to work. He feels fine enough to go to work. So, I don't know. American healthcare sucks. It really does. What's the point of being a doctor or a physician or whatever you are if you're not going to, like, if you're just going to, like, run people through and not care, you know? And it wasn't even that many people at the ER at all. Like, it wasn't even necessarily, it was just a lot of people and they're trying to get through a lot of people. Um, it was literally like nobody there, so all I gotta say is that they don't really care about us, just like the army. They do the same thing in the army, literally the same thing. You have to be like bleeding or have like a broken bone for them to actually like care. So, and by broken bone, I mean like bone sticking out your skin. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I'm home now. I'm gonna relax for the rest of the day. Gotta get ready for work tomorrow. Vlogs are coming, you all. Don't worry. I still have to edit a vlog before this. Um, this vlog goes up, so I gotta see what's going on with that. It's been in my. It's been. It's ready to be edited. I've uploaded it or I've exported. It. I just like need to edit it and upload it to YouTube. So.